All right, righty, righty, right. All right, let's get back to this game. But I want to cover things. So I want to catch up with things with you guys with Action Time and 10. Can you know this is episode 20? Yes, episode 20 of Action Time and 10. That I have been simply not been going with the story, but I've been complaining. Hi, Ingrid. Yeah, I've been. The, yeah, the game had to get do some develop updates, and yeah, I have been actually so grinding off off the time for the time being, not recording. And even though I should have been focused on the story more more often, so I can get that out the way. But now I'm in for more focus on getting the characters powerful, getting all of them, maybe getting a new time in ten. Because I know it's about like the last time I recorded was during like a couple months ago, some shit, something like that. I, I couldn't remember how many, what months ago it was, but. All I can say is that the last time we recorded that, some new events came out. Then after that, then we got the Golden Pass and yada, yada, yada. Stuff was going on. I managed to get some new characters. The roster got bigger. Yeah, I, as you can tell, the roster got bigger. See? It's some characters that don't have any characters that I do, uh, do want. Then, yeah. So, so we get in. So we get, instead of having 24, we're going to have 25. Time intense coming soon. Then she's coming. The next one is Aria. She's coming around the 20th of February or something like that. So if you guys already bought the thing, it was cost like $47.99. If you already bought it, boom, you already got her. And I, I already seen people already have it. So, no, Anna. I said Aria. I Ian. I Anna. Whatever. All right. Hey, you know what? This is going to jump to the story. Oh yeah, that was doing it shit on hard. And yeah, I was doing it. All right, let's get this shit over. But since I can't use Ingrid because she's too freaking powerful, so I'm gonna use some tone someone down. So I'm gonna use. It's like I need to, you know, tone it down a little bit because I need to catch up. And it's some the original time is getting reworked and stuff. So yeah, Tokyo Kingdom City. A man-made item 10 kilometers from Tokyo Bay was made by the Japanese government with a huge amount of money to develop an area as the next heart of the city. However, it failed to attract companies to the area as well as com commercial facilities for official residents due to the delay in the construction of the Tokyo Bay subways, resulting the island become isolated. All developing the item, the island stopped it was basically abandoned. The only path to enter the island is through the Tokyo Kingdom Bridge, where an arc narcissist, narcissist criminals and residents of the demon realm now live. It's now notorious as one of the world's biggest slums filled with active black markets and adult entertainment industries with a slogan that says, if you want something, you can make it yours. We both looked back at the bridge we just crossed as we chat. Around us, around us were people who crossed the bridge just like us, except the time, except they seemed they looked more suspicious while they made their way through the bustling streets. あさぎ先生と村崎先生が別の任務になるとはな。特務中隊の人数が増えれば、それだけ他のメンバーに別の任務が割り当てられることもあるだろう。四六時中、フルメンバーで任務に当たれるわけでもないだろうしな。あ、
I don't know if I should be happy with the mission is going smoolly or sad that the education system is absolute mess. At the entrance, there was a famous Gayon Ga Ga and Udon franchise accessory shop, and even even rural, even real estate. I need to stop butchering these fucking words. Real estate business are all around. This is the only possible. This is only possible in Japan, and that seems to strive with so many customers. Tokyo Kingdom is a criminal hideout, a demon island, where multiple businesses are run by demons. Looking around, it recognized some familiar faces I saw in Gosha database of criminals that were walking around. <sighs> you can't be fucking doing that. <laughs> Missionary. Mi oh my god. Shinui. Shinui. In Sakura, yeah, you can see Rico, Rinko, and Emily are all arrived a bit later than us. Since the task force grew in numbers, the there are times it's quite noticeable working as one group. This time in the Tokyo Kingdom Bridge at the checkpoint on the bridge connect this city to the mainland, we were split into two groups. We passed through the checkpoint. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop my head. Get negative thoughts out of my head, negative thoughts, negative thoughts. Let me continue to read, just negative thoughts out of my head. While seeing that, Miss Shinui. Crossed her, crossed her arms, making her chest stand out. On the other hand, Emily blushed and curled up and, and curled up and kept glancing at my direction. Oh, I get it. I remember that the guards were men and understood. These were people at checkpoint seemed old fashioned, but it, the it's more efficient in terms of, of security. With computers were so highly developed, there's no worry to getting hacked. On the other hand, there's a problem with other people bribing guards to smuggle things in, in while inspection. However, both problems can be solved and humans and machines are used to survey each other. What on earth happened? At least they didn't seem to have their powers to get 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 to the get the pass. Since I don't feel any zapping sensation of Yuki's lightning bolt, so I decided to let it slide as I did as they didn't seem to attract any any attention either. Oi, Upon checking, everyone that I had arrived. Someone spoke to us from somewhere not far from from where we stood. There is no sign of the person moment and the person moments ago, so we we were slightly cautious but relaxed as pe as the person really revealed themselves. It was a person I knew very well. She looked at Shinui Miss Shinui Shinui. I butchered her name like a couple of times. Even though I like my Shinui. I ah, see, I fucking said it. God damn it. It seems as if she knew about her sudden appearance. Kirian, 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 uh, I cannot, I'm gonna butcher her name a lot. 
Tyrion. Can, can, you know what? Let me just skip it. I'm just gonna kill. I'm gonna go the best way I'll say it. Curian looks looks this way and shrugs. She's speaking in the form that she's speaking in a way from which it's difficult to tell if she's being serious or sarcastic. Her name is Shin, Shingi Shingi Shurigen, a genius who fought, who taught uh, swordsmanship by her grandfather Shin, Shingi Jin. Genjin, the Fuman the Fuma, the Fuma clan predecessor. I had to scratch my head, that's why. All right, let's read this. The eight journals of, Fuma, of the Fuma, an alliance of the clan of the clan masters that ran through Fuma clan in the past. At the time, at the time, the Fuma clan had the strongest voice among the time intense. So while, ma while maintaining it, an independent position they cooperate with the government on their on their missions but collapse due to strife an internal strife they ultimately due to the failure of the Fuma Fuma Dujin revolt only if the title former clan remains uh, okay but again just step down after my father Fuma Dujin stage a mutiny hearing his Yuri was supposed to secede into a position her grandfather, but left Gosha Village and act as a freelancer time attendant. Although, although we were, although we barely made, barely contact each other, I can't help but feel a bit happy that she showed up. I only had childhood memories, but her physical ability at the time of time far surpassed mine is is what I was nowhere close. Okay, okay, okay. But I'm gonna debunk that what he said, even though he said that's a childhood friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that childhood friend, Fuma clan. And his, fa his father bullshit. Yeah, this is the daughter of fucking Edwin Black. Okay, this is the daughter of Edwin Black. If who didn't know, this is the daughter of Edwin Black. If you guys didn't know, you can look it up the wiki, or you can look and you can look up the wiki and look in her bio. She is half the half vampire and half human. Yes, she's half vampire and half human. Her father is Edwin Black, which he is a fucking demon vi vampire lord. Yes. Sorry to break it to you, but that's what I'm gonna say. If because some parent reason I did, I told you I actually like the series. I look into the series. I am not getting to the adult side, but the adult side is a part of the series as well. So, yeah. Time and ten, the time and ten universe. It's kind of big. It's kind of like small, but it's compact in their own way. So. It, it, but the thing, is, the thing is about this one is multiple timelines. It's been off a timeline. A what if? A what if? A what if? A what if? It's canon timelines and it's non-canon timelines. This character is canon to each fucking timeline because she she's canon to each timeline, even though she's involved with each timeline. Don't know why, but it's some apparent reason. That's how it is. I'm just gonna leave it alone, and that's how I'm gonna believe it. Because this character is really fucking difficult to get around. Because there's also another character in this game, which I you already seen, and she, yeah, I think I flew, walk, I scrolled past her while I was doing this. Yes, she is also another half and half character, but I think she will make an appearance in the story sooner or later. So if you don't have her as a character, she's still available in the store. You can get her for like about twelve hundred on gems. Boom. She will show up regardlessly, and this character is also about 1200 gems. I don't know why, but she is the daughter of fucking Edwin Black. So, it's apparently she hates him. Boom, and that's why she's a time attend. And there you go. It, 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 it just it the story, the story into time attend. You know what? Let me just finish the story and then get get all to the talking with that later. She had a remarkable physical ability inherited from her father, and uh, see, they won't say it. I respect. I always said it. Inherited from her father, and the swordman was taught by Ginyan, Ginyan, her grandfather, who was also a Fuma clan predecessor. And a title was given to the uh, given those who's part particularly worthy. 
if you only looked at the combat ability carrying back then had probably the same level of combat skills as me now. I didn't I didn't mean to say it with any concern and intention certain intention. I guess that I got excited about reuniting with my childhood friend. The air in the the air around us intensely froze. It it was intense. It felt like two, the temperature dropped about two degrees. If this felt more like two cats warning each other not to cross the, even cross the line, instead filling the um, filling out the pro, um, process, filling out process. If it's just like the task force here, it would be more it would be more much of a problem. But since this is the main road of the Tokyo Kingdom, where many people co come and go, it attracted a lot of attention. <coughs> I deliberately called for the to, for them to notice. Then Sue and Kirian Kirian act as if nothing happened between them. What was the whole point of the intense mood in the beginning? I looked around as a complaint compl competing the point of the serious mood they set but it's other than as other but the others didn't seem to pay attention pay too much attention to at all do girls always greet each other like this i have a bad feeling it's all, it all you know what buddy fuma i can understand you probably under, you don't you're around about a lot of women okay girls do get like this don't worry homie she said it and Gary start to take the lead. Emily comes right right in the next to me and asks. I said I whisper, but our relationship is not lovey-dovey cute story. It's far from that. In the Fuma clan, a family is protected that protects the clan. A relationship like, like the Lord and his sword, master and servant. We were similar ages, so I guess we could say that we were friends when we were little children. <laughs> I didn't need to know the last bit, but I just answered right. その反乱の後に御社を出るよう伊賀分けと制約がなされたんだそうだ。ミスアサニトいや、アサニ先生は新眼事件が残れるように尽力してくれたそうだ。だけどおそらく政府関係者が少しでも空間の力を削ぐために
新しく当主となった紅も制約を守り続け御社に戻ることはなかった俺が子供の頃の話だがそれ以降は御社町を離れてフリーランスの大魔人として活動をしているくらいのことしか知らなかったような昔なじみだ Now I think about it, it is weird. I didn't think too much about it when I was little, but when I grew up, it deals it is a deal that's weird now that's, that I see things differently. Maybe it was to prevent me from, from staging another mutiny like my grandfather, or my, my goddamn father did, to reduce the strength of the family. But I, but I the, certain Fuma, the current Fuma clan master, I am, am a useless one eye with no ninja arts. Is that the is that the, is that why the others shifted their attention to the Shingi clan to Kyrian? While I deep while I was in deep thought, Emily, who seemed more lost in thought than I, than I was, let it out a heavy sigh. <laughs> I think this girl enjoys tragic stories like these too much. A bit too much. I stopped my, my sentence, unable to finish it. What, what, was our relation was like that? These stories were of when we were young. I'm not sure of remain. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm unsure of the remaining memories that I could, couldn't remember. What we were we used to talk about, how we spent our days, simply things like that. I would look down at, I was looked down as a child because I was gonna use my ninja art, being called the useless one eye or and carrying. I catch something out of the corner of my eye while talking to Emily. I see, it was a scene that was in a big something it, that could have passed. As a normal or something, I was wrong. I saw wrong. This is Tokyo Kingdom that I researched. The Gojo Gojo database is a place where muscular thugs surrounded a person and beat and beating them up is an everyday thing. But through the gap surrounding the thug was a white uh, uh was a white cloth with white clothing. That. That was I saw, but suddenly I remember the strange girl we fought on on, on Goya Island. Fall against on Goya Island. The same the one with the green hair and white clothes. The immortal demon who was very silent and didn't speak much. That I thought popped in my head. I don't know. But it was enough to stop me in my tracks. Sue who who has been talking to you can see and the others has it have her others as if she was a, a young student as if her, as she walked behind me and emily she followed my gaze and turned her head Sue mustn't must must have thought I thought I was going to help those person uh, the person. Ah, surely, the cold whitening was more meant to, more mentally saw was no longer visible as the thugs closed in the tire. And here I am thinking Sue was worried about me. Then Sakura never helps in this situation. She never helps in these type of situation. She makes it hilarious but funny. She makes it hilarious in the type of way that she's gonna be serious, 
but it says it in a childish joke. That's you, you know what? I'd say that for later. Their muscular fatigue huddle up together to the make to make a wall and keep their eye out for any onlookers. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> ah, totally for totally forgot about that shit. Looking, looking, looking at this, they were all normally normal human beings, and so dogs. That's how they get out of the fight. fight. <laughs> I'd butcher that whole sentence. When I glanced at Shinu in the Shinui group for a moment, they seemed to be they have noticed us. I felt that they were watching our moves and seeing how we reacted to doing what I scratch my head and make a decision. Use this one eye. Use this one eye was my humility nickname in Gosha since I can't process any ninja art even though I am a member of the Fuma clan. I'm used to be such an insult but that that doesn't mean I don't mind people saying that to me. Because I have been bullied before I couldn't witness and ignore and I didn't want to get in. I don't want to get in. I gave them an order without any emotions and with any, without any passion. That was a long ass cutscene because I. You know what? Never mind. Alright, finally, action time. No, nope, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. No, I really did forgot what I was gonna say. I'm not gonna hold you. No, I really did forgot what I was gonna say because there's so much caught up in the moment that. Well, I was gonna mention. Uh, so I was gonna say that the nun trying to get to the action scene. Eh, don't worry. It's like so much things happen. I think I lost track of what I was going to say. I die already. I'm going to fucking hammer down your ass. Oh yeah, I, you know what? It, when it comes back to mind, then it, it comes back to mind. Cause as of right now, I I I, I don't got nothing. It, it literally slipped my fucking mind. It actually really slipped my fucking mind. I'm not bullshitting. Shit like that really slipped my fucking mind. I I, I totally forgot. Receiving a compliment from an old friend felt a little bit com complicated. I couldn't tell she was being honest or not. And the last person, the reason, the reason why the last person wasn't knocked out yet, be because he held the weapon to his hand and held the girl hostage. No, we weren't that. Uh, we weren't that. <laughs> Wrinkle words were directly were direct not to the man with the weapon, it was to the girl of Noah in his arms who wasn't moving a single muscle. I had already noticed during during the commotion, but the dress was for sure it was white and belonged to Noah. But 
I didn't I didn't know why she was being resisting the mere dog she could who surely had a power to stand against a high ranked demon like Azeroth in the, in the notorious in, in the notorious king the Tokyo Kingdom she could turn these guys to mince me with a flick of her wrist It wasn't, it, it was what I want to ask. No, no one looks harmless on the outside. Unless you receive the special training, you won't realize how dangerous she is at the how dangerous at all. That's why we wanted to get him want him to let her go as soon as possible and not aggress aggravate her any further. As soon as I told Sakura I took I took out a shuriken from my uniform. It was a weapon that is portable and easier to hit in my arm perfectly for surprise attack. In case I had to stand in front of a in front lines as a captain of the task force, I asked Fumo Teruko, Teruko, who I who I live with, to train me using shuriken and reducing the time to sleep, reducing my time to sleep. She replied, Sakura activated her shadow art from behind the man holding Noah from the shadow, emerging hit emerging the arm of which grabbed the man grabbed the man's arm that was holding the knife. That's a gun, but whatever. I aimed this sh I aimed the I aimed for the arm the man's hand, which captured the shadow was captured by the shadow with my shuriken and and throw. With a deep, with deep, <laughs> it was deep into the man's right hand, and the, and he let it let he he let go of his knife. It's a damn gun, but whatever. I slipped another. I I slipped another. His wow! I am butchering these fucking wordless soul sentence. I slipped on I slipped under his left arm, coming from coming at me, which he hit from, and he hit with his body, with him with a body shot, forcing him to bend forward and deliver a uppercut and exposing his chin. I dislocated his jaw and topple topple over his head and shake from his shake from impact. At least the close combat ex experts were not saying anything bad about it with their coat with their arm crossed and knotted i realized that there were there were lots of things to improve as i was open and closed my closed my fist from the pain and striking to the man's jaw if i don't move more efficiently i won't be able to survive in a real dangerous situation who knows this might be the chance to where i gotta go against our ass off again Oi, as I tried to talk to Noah, who didn't finish during the entire moment, I could sense that people was coming around this way, assuming the battles, the battle stance were fo focused on the eye.
Are you fucking kidding me? Really? I thought it was so. Never mind. I see why she's pissed. I see why she was fucking pissed. Because their boobs were bigger than hers and they was falling and having fun with it while she was looking at her eating her size fucking beef chest. And they was wondering why no one they didn't want to bother with her because she looked like a little child. Wow. I can't believe I managed to sum it up from right there. Oh my gosh. Never mind. I thought it was really something else. I really thought it was literally something else. Oh shit, man got the gangster shot. But for real, it's like I, f I can't believe I've already butchered what the idea of what I was gonna say before this. Like I think that cutscene really took everything out. I think I was gonna but butcher. It. I it, wait, I guarantee it's gonna come back. It's going to come back in the most unprofessional, stupidest way that I don't remember. It's going to come back in the most dumbest way. I guarantee. I'll probably not be thinking about it. It's going to show up randomly in my head. And I'm going to be like, wow. Now I fucking remember. It's going to happen. I can fucking feel it. I'm, I'm sorry. It's going to happen. I'm calling it. Hammer down. It's going to. I can feel it. It's right there. I can feel it. What the fuck I was going to say. What the fuck I was going to say? Hmm. 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 It's whatever. Again, I'm just going to let it slide. And, and he thought of something else in my head. And I thought of something else. And I thought of something else. Son of a bitch. <laughs> 